Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna talk about the medical medium vitamin C shock therapy, another really great tool to help your immune system and to battle anything, any sort of sickness that might be coming your way. Yeah, and so in the last video you watched, it was about zinc shock therapy. Mm -hmm. And these go two things go together side by side. So whenever we feel a cold or a flu coming on, yeah, a run down. These are like our go to two yes. things that we do immediately yes. to like nip it in the butt. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you the vitamin C shock therapy and we're going to walk you through really helpful information about it that Anthony shares with us. So the strength of your immune system is directly reflected on how often you get sick. So how often you're catching colds, how often you're catching flus, and the severity of them. Yeah, the stronger your immune system, the easier it's going to be to fight off those unwanted pathogens, you know, mm -hmm. the viruses, the bacteria fungus, mold, yeast, all this stuff goes on in our system. Yep. And the stronger the immune system, the easier it's gonna to be to fight these things off. So what we're explaining might seem like common sense, right? Like, okay, I know that if I'm getting sick, like my immune system's down, but it's really important to understand that you can really strengthen your immune system to fight off these things and not get sick as much and what's important to understand is our white blood cells and we talked about this in the zinc video they are responsible for knocking down those invaders and if you have a low white blood cell count that's because you're deficient in things so if you bring in more vitamin c it's gonna help the um, white blood cell count production increase which is then gonna knock those invaders down, 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 and the more you have, the quicker you will get over your colds and your flu. And in the last video, we talked about the zinc shock therapy and how the zinc shock therapy repels bacteria and viruses and weakens them. And when it weakens them, it allows your immune system to build up those white blood cells and then protect you from these things. So. It's very important that we, we have zinc and we've got vitamin C in our toolkit to help fight off these unwanted bugs that we come up against. Yeah. So if you're wondering where we got this information, where we got this recipe, it's all from Anthony William, the medical medium. He came up with the zinc shock therapy. He came up with the vitamin C shock therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we wanted to make sure that you guys also had this information in your hands because we find it that important. Yeah, we want you all to heal. We want you to, mm -hmm. to fight off these viruses and bacteria and all these bugs we come up against. So we all know that vitamin C is helpful for the immune system, right? But when you get sick with say the flu, your adrenal glands and your central nervous system take a really big hit and vitamin C is gonna help strengthen those. Your brain also takes a really big hit because you might be getting fevers and vitamin C is gonna help with the brain and helping it restore itself from the sickness. So let's go over the key ingredient to the vitamin C shock therapy. And that is micro C. So micro C is the type of vitamin C that we take on a daily basis. And then it's also used in the vitamin C shock therapy. And this is by Vimergy and it is enhanced with rose hips and grape seed extract. And the ingredients in here are all clean. There's no citric acid, there's no gelatin, and the capsules are made out of vegetarian capsules. So there's no crazy preservatives in there that you have to worry about. All right, we're back. 
and we've got a bunch of stuff in front of us here and so I'm gonna be the assistant Ashley's gonna be the instructor and we're gonna take you through how to make this yes so what you need for one serving of the vitamin C shock therapy is you're gonna need a glass you will need two micro C tablets um, you are welcome to add up to two more, so doing four total. If you really want to add extra boost in there, um, you're going to need the juice of an orange. You will need two teaspoons of honey, and then you will need a cup of water, and preferably warm, because it makes it easier for everything to blend together. Optional tools that you don't necessarily need, but what I like to bring in to make it easier is a hand citrus juicer, but you can always just use your hand instead of using this. And then I also use a frother to help mix in the micro C. So first thing you're gonna do is get your warm water, put that in your cup, and then you're gonna empty out your micro C tablets into the water. And then what you're gonna do is mix those together. Now what I like to do is use the frother because it really helps it blend very easily. So now those are blended. Comments? That was very easily <laughs> done. Usually you have the spoon and you're Mixing whacking it around, around, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, so now that's all blended. I'm gonna cut my orange in half. Like I said, you can just use your hand and squeeze it in there, but I'm gonna use a citrus juicer to get out as much juice as possible. And then we take these and we compost them, turn them into soil. <laughs> then you're gonna pour in your OJ into the mixture, so OJ's in. And then our last ingredient is the honey. Do you froth it again after? No, I don't. No. Do not. So this I am kind of just eyeball, to be honest. So it's like, okay, there's one teaspoon. And then another one. It's like, you know, a blob. And I probably honestly put more honey and that's okay. All right, I like to mix it with a little wooden spoon. So then you'll just mix until your honey is dissolved. Okay, so now it's all mixed and it's ready to be consumed. So you get the first one. Oh, cool. Thank you. <laughs> and vitamin C is really good for 30 minutes and then it starts to lose a lot of its medicinal benefits, right? The vitamin C from orange juice. So once you've juiced your oranges, you want to drink that within 30 minutes, otherwise it loses a big percentage of its vitamin C potency. And it's like a shot, so you're supposed to take it like a shot. I'm drinking this a little slow. You're drinking it fine. <sighs> you're drinking it fine. There you go. So this was really tasty. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do that every two hours if you'd like to really get rid of that sickness that you feel coming on or maybe you already have it. Um, or you could just do it once a day as a way to really boost your immune system. Um, something I forgot to mention was maybe you don't do honey, so a replacement for honey, you could do 100% um, pure maple syrup. And then if you don't have an orange available, you could always use a lemon instead. Hmm. I wonder how that would taste. I know, we've never tried that. <laughs> <laughs> There's different dosage amounts for children. So just like in the last video, we're gonna throw it up on the screen right now so you can see what the dosage amount 
is for the various ages of children. Yeah, and you can also find those dosage amounts in the Cleanse to Heal book. Um, and we will also link all that info in the description below. So this powerful therapy that we just showed you how to make will kick any virus, any bacteria, kick it in the butt, you know, <laughs> and really knock it down when you need help the most. Yeah. So this vitamin C shock therapy plus the zinc shock therapy is our go-to for any cold or flu, and it should be your guys' replacement for medicine when you're trying to battle these. And cough syrup. So what do you replace cough syrup with? Well, we love to use elderberry syrup. So we take that on a daily basis, and then we use it like crazy when we're feeling sick. If you guys haven't seen, we have some really awesome DIY elderberry syrup kits where you get all the ingredients except for the honey and the water to make your very own elderberry syrup. And it makes about 16 ounces, which is way more than what you get in the store um, when you buy elderberry syrup in the store. So it's a really great deal. Check it out. We've jam packed it with tons of elderberries to just make it super healing and tasty for you guys yeah and it's all medical medium approved stuff so yes. we know it's like the most potent stuff for you out yeah there. check it out it's it's really good